So today we're going to look into um, designs and command. It's just going to be, you know, like a more of a beginner's training just to kind of get used to it. Um, it is something that's not necessarily the most intuitive the very first time, but I promise if you play around with it a little bit, it really does get easier. And there's so many great templates and designs in there. So I really think it's a great value added that we have. So to access designs, you log into your command and it's going to be the icon all the way down here that's called like a little paintbrush called design. So you click on that. I'm not seeing your screen. I'm not sure if it's oh, set up yet. I'm sorry. Okay. Do you guys see my screen now? There we go. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> sorry. Having all sorts of tech problems today. Okay. So I'll restart. So from the homepage here on the sidebar, there's a little paintbrush icon called designs. And that'll take us into, if you have a few designs created, you'll kind of see them there. But to go into the program at the bottom right hand side, you're going to see this plus button in turquoise, that's going to launch you to the, um, to the design. So it depends if you want to do email, social, print, you can click on whichever it's going to take you to the same place. So once that opens up, it's going to open up to the templates that are provided by KW. They're categorized by purpose. So it starts off here, the KW app. Um, then we have different ones for listings. There's subcategories as well, whether you're, you have a property that's just listed, you want to announce that it's sold, you want to announce that you're your local expert, um, all sorts of, um, different designs here. We have different ones for buyers, lead generation, if you want to, for home value, for example, holidays, Thanksgiving is coming up. If you want to, you know, do a little post for that. They're also categorized, so first um, by purpose, then there's the subcategories in that. You'll also notice on the side here, they're categorized for which medium you're using. So it starts off with Facebook, you might have Instagram, you might have Instagram stories. So it'll be the right size for whichever medium you wanna use. So let's look into, for example, in the listing. So let's say you have a property that you've just listed and you wanna advertise it. So we'll start by going into the just listed category and then decide, you can decide which one do you want to do, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram stories. Those are probably the most common. I say even Facebook would be the most common. So let's go with one of those. So if you wanted to um, edit the design, you just hover over whichever one you want. And then you click the button here at the top, right? That says use. So from here, they give you the template. You can play around with this as you'd like. Uh, I would say, let's you know start with the image. You want to change it to something that you have for your listing. In that case, if you want to bring in your own, you can go add. And you'll see some recent images here, but you want to take one from your computer that you have yourself. So let's just say, Let's say this is your, well, here, let, let me go into an actual listing. So you go into your, you upload an image. It's just going to import it here. It'll just take a moment. So you can see it's just populating in the list of images. Okay. So now you have the image here, you just hover over it, grab it, and pop it into the area that had the image before. Now it looks kind of blurry. Once you go up here to the top left, file and save, then give it a minute and it'll actually clear up. Boom. So it does auto save for you. If you forget to do that, it will auto save your progress, but uh, to have the image look nice and crisp and clear as it should, you have to save manually. So that's how you can add the image. Now that's how you add your own. Uh, depending on what kind of ad you're doing, you might even want to see what different company images there are. There's tons of stock images here and they're categor categorized as well. So let's say you wanted to uh, announce your app. You can use one of the company pictures here. So if you click on the image itself, it'll just 
kind of put it in your design as a size that it should be. But we, let's say we would delete that in this case, what you want to do to replace the full size of the image that's already there. You like, again, the, uh, like I said before, you just hover over it and then just drag and pop it into place. Uh, so that that's for the app. They also have all sorts of ones. Take a look and see what they have, uh, different lifestyle ones, depending, you know, if you're doing a presentation, um, targeting buyers, you might want to put one stock image of people moving, things like that. Let's go up a bit. And then they have different neighborhoods as well. So depending on what kind of presentation you want to do, uh, you, you might want to use some of their stock photos, but let's just go back to right now using our own and for like a listing presentation or sorry, a listing ad. So now we have the image. Now you just want to play around with the text. So you just click in whatever text box you want and change it to how you'd like to, to what you want to announce here. So this is the text box. If you want to change the font or anything, it's all the way at the top here. So let's say you have your default font that you want to change to Helvetica. Click on that. And then see now it makes the box a little bit bigger. It doesn't quite fit. So you just click on the text box again and just drag it to fit. Uh, if you want to center it again, just hover over and move it around here. Um, you can play, you know, change it to what your listing description is. I will say that there was another training that uh, we did that Aaron mentioned that it's best to not put any qualifiers like number of bedrooms or price because it might stop a buyer from clicking on it. They say, Oh, that's out of my budget or, Oh, I want four bedrooms, not three. But if you're doing a Facebook campaign and you want to get more leads, you want them to at least click on the lead first and then you'll get that contact and you can help them with the right size of what they are looking for. So that's just a little tip. So in this case, I would just say just listed, I maybe I'll just take that text box out altogether. So I would just click on it and delete. And let's see, I'm going to save again because my image is still blurry. There you go. Then, okay, so here, and you can play around. You can delete what you want. If you don't want to have anything else, you can just simply click on the box, text box and delete it. But if you want to edit it, click on it, highlight the text and put what you want. So this is a lot in Otter Point. I can change the, uh, the font here, make it bigger. Uh, you can change the color up here. You can, uh, I have the template uh, by default, the Keller Williams colors, so you can put those in and that way you'll have them for easy reference every time you go to make a design. So in this case, I don't want this either, I'll delete it. And then for the logo, so instead of having to add it every time, what you can do is, and I'll show you how to do that. Actually, let's, let's save this and I'll show you what to do. When you're doing your ads, you know, you're always going to be putting the Keller Williams logo. You might have your own logo. So instead of having to upload them every time, there's a way that you can save them into your library for easy reference. So that's back to the default page here where all the templates are. All the way over here to the right hand towards the top, there's a plus sign for library. So there you can put in uh, default images. So for example, my husband and I are a team. We have our images that have been downloaded there. So for easy reference, I don't have to upload them every time. And the same thing with our logos. So this is where you can add them. You just click on the square and then you upload whatever picture you or whatever logo you have. And then when we go back to my designs, so here's the one that, oh, sorry. So the, in, this is all the templates. Once you've saved it, it goes into my designs on this tab here. You can also, um, right over here, you can see you can add a new folder. So I have them saved by category to try and keep it a little bit more streamlined. Let's go back to the one that we were looking at. So if you saved it, you click on the little elliptical buttons here and then whoops, you can either rename it, you can duplicate it if you wanna make a copy. Uh, in this case, we wanna edit it. So now we want to add the logos that were in our library. So here up here, this images, if you go down to logos, these are the ones we have in our library. So you can just click on the logo 
and it'll put it in its default size. And then if you want to change the size, you just click on it here and then just hover to make it bigger or smaller. So let's say we put it here. And so let's say this is what you want. You're, you're good for your design. This, you're happy with it. You save it again. And then if you go right here, um, actually first, let's say you want to name it. So that here in this little box, it's going to have whatever the system name is by default, but you might want to rename it for yourself so that when in your downloads, you know what it is. So Otter Point Facebook ad. And then you click on the download button here. And by default, it'll open up to JPEG. You can do that. If you want a higher quality though, then you can also get a PNG, whatever you prefer. Now it says start download. Don't go back to your template, uh, to, to the KW templates until you see that the download has completed because if you exit too early, it won't finish downloading. You'll have to go back. So I can see at the bottom of my screen here that it has opened up and here's the ad. And then you can just use that into your Facebook campaign. And basically, there you go. That's, that's one ad and you can just play around with it. I would suggest, you know, try different ones, try ones for new listings for sold, uh, whether it's for Facebook or Instagram and just play around with it. And, um, then it'll become a lot more intuitive. The more that you use it, I guarantee. Does anybody have any questions? I've got one. Um, yeah. it's David here. Um, I played around with it a little bit a while ago, and um, I'm very used to Photoshop. I'm a professional photographer, or, or was, and uh, so I'm kind of used to that platform. And then I got in there, and I realized I wanted to change photos. So, and I think what I may have done is instead of just dragging a new photo onto an existing one in the template and kind of leaving it there, yeah. uh, I think I probably tried to put in a new photo box or something, but. I just basically boiled down to that I couldn't resize the photo. Um, oh. So is that something that you're kind of stuck with when you're using a template? There's a, a photo there, like a sample one, and you have to really just kind of leave it exactly in the size and space and everything that it is and just drop a new one on it? Um, well, the easiest is, is yes, to, to drop a new one in it. Let's try it. Like Let's try this again. So yeah, the easiest is to take, this is a, the size that they wanted. But if that's not the size you wanna add your own photo, you can click on the image that's already there, delete. Okay. And then you'll see it has an image placeholder. Right. That's gonna keep it for the same size. So if that's not what you want, just delete that as well. Okay. And then you can go and uh, just add, see the little plus button here, just add the image. Okay. It'll add it in by default to the size that the image is, but you can just play around with it, make it bigger or smaller. Okay, so that does reach size, okay. Yeah. Now the other thing too is I was trying to bring on the, um, the KW logo and um, you know just information about our Valley office. Um, and that was another spot I had a bit of trouble with somehow. And I think that one just didn't want to resize at all. Um, hmm. Uh, well, let me see. Maybe it depends where you got the logo. So I am trying to remember, I got the logos when I joined last December, but there was a place in, uh, in my KW where you can get all the, all the logos in the, uh, like PNG and which might be easier. So where did you get your logo? Well, I think I got it off of Weebly and then I just kind of brought it in as an image off of my computer. Okay, so let me see. I think if you go into um, my, Erin would be able to help you to tell you where to get the, the, um, the better ones to use for marketing and stuff. Cause maybe in the Weebly, I don't know, it might just be like a JPEG logo that's not gonna be easy to resize and stuff, uh -huh. but she can tell you where to get them. Uh, like I said, I don't remember exactly where, but it has all like the brand guideline. Uh, where you can actually get the colors as well for for the actual kw red and gray and all that and so that's where i downloaded mine okay. so here i'm gonna open it here and see so these are the we ones have use the, um, we have to have an mls on there and um there's various other requirements isn't there i'm new as well fairly newer than you <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah you do have to have mls as well that's one in my logos library for some reason I've tried to add the MLS logo so many times and it never saves 
is in my library, that's the only image that doesn't. So I have to just go in my downloads. I have a place. Um, okay. And that's where I add it. But yes, it needs, you need to have that somewhere. It doesn't have to be prominent. It could just be a little something in the corner. Um, yeah, so I added in the logo, the KW one that's provided where Aaron can tell you to get like the, the proper format and you can make it as big or as little and it won't get blurry because it's the actual PNG. And um, so if you, yeah, if you have problems, I suggest asking her to make sure you, you, you're using the right one. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Once you save it, um, that would be saved in command and um, that would be editable if you go back later and you wanted to change something. You could go into the existing one that you've saved and just change a photo or a price or different things like that. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. So it'll go back. So here we're with the templates. So when you go into designs, it, it opens this by default. But if you go into my designs, that's where all the ones that we've done, sorry, that you've done and have saved are. So yeah, I like I categorize them here. I put folders. So for example, I have a few that I like for just listed. I don't go back to templates and choose which one I want every time. I've, I've made enough that I just say, okay, I, if I use this one to advertise on Facebook uh, for my last listing, then maybe I'll use this one this time. And I just go in, edit, and all I do is just change the address. Then I change the image. So let's just go here. And I change the MLS number. And everything else is the same. So I have, you know, maybe five or six templates for Facebook and Instagram that all I have to do every time I have a new listing is just change, like I said, address, image, MLS number. I already have, you know, the just listed here, my team logo here, MLS um, image here. And I just download that. And boom, that's what I do every time. So you don't have to always try and decide, browse through, because there are a lot of templates that are provided by KW, which is great, but sometimes you're spoiled for choice. So it's good to just have your own collection of ones that you like, and you can change them very quickly. Yeah. Any other questions? Well, oh, yeah. Hi, David. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, sorry. I wasn't sure. I saw your mic went off. I wasn't sure if you had a question. No, I was just, um, I just had it off just in case, but that's okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no worries. So, yeah, I guess um, play around with it. It really is something that um, it, it, the more you play around, the more it, it, the easier it gets, basically. But if you guys ever have any questions, I'm, I'm certainly by no means an expert. Um, I know the, the basics very well, but I wouldn't be able to be like the most advanced teacher. But if you guys, you know, run into any issues, feel free to drop me a line and I'll see if I can help. Well, great. Appreciate that. Uh, thanks. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. We'll have a good day. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, thanks Bye. so much. Take care.